Hi, I'm Michael Ye with the Georgia Poison Center. Spring has finally arrived, which also means it's the season when people head out to the woods to forage for ramps. Ramps are also commonly known as wild leeks. The British called them ramsons, and the scientific name is Allium trichocum. Ramps are a seasonal delicacy here in the eastern part of the United States. They have a taste and smell that is often compared to onion or garlic, and they are only available for a very short time in April and early May. Because of that, they can cost an arm and a leg in gourmet restaurants and fancy food stores. There are many Appalachian communities that host annual ramp festivals around this time to celebrate this tasty little plant. But did you know that there are poisonous plants here in Georgia that can be confused for ramps? Now these are false hellebores in the genus Veratrum, and they can make people very sick. They contain a mix of chemicals called steroid alkaloids, which cause sodium channels in our nerve cells to become more permeable, and this in turn can affect the heart. People who eat these often get severe nausea and vomiting soon after eating, followed by other symptoms such as slow and irregular heartbeat, low blood pressure, and decreased breathing, which can be life-threatening. Some people also report feeling palpitations, sweating, lightheadedness, and severe generalized weakness. Although some people who are poisoned by this plant can recover with basic supportive care and observation in the emergency department, we've also seen severe cases where patients had to be admitted to the intensive care unit. At first glance, these two plants can look very similar. However, you can see that the false hellebore leaves are more ribbed and pleated compared to the smoother leaves of the ramps. False hellebore leaves also tend to be broader and wider. Ramps have a clearly defined onion-like bulb compared to these roots on the false hellebore. Ramps also have one or two leaves that each emerge from its own stem. False hellebore tends to have multiple leaves in a spiral arrangement. Later in the season, the false hellebore will grow much taller and send up a flower stalk, making it look more distinct from ramps. One of the most significant identifying features of ramps is the smell. Ramps should have a strong garlic or onion aroma. The taste should also be pretty garlicky as well. The false hellebore doesn't really smell like anything, or maybe just fresh grass clippings. And yeah, don't try to taste this one. Here's another toxic plant that is often mistaken for ramps. This is Lily of the Valley, a non-native imported species that is grown as an ornamental plant in gardens. They do not smell like onions, and instead of having bulbs, they spread by underground stems called rhizomes. They typically have one to two leaves that are about four to ten inches long. You might also see small, white, bell-shaped flowers that hang down from a stalk. They produce small, reddish-orange berries. All parts of this plant may be poisonous, containing a complex mix of chemicals called cardiac glycosides that can affect the heart. In many parts of the country, wild ramp populations are decreasing due to over-harvesting. Ramps grow very slowly. It can take seven years for a plant to reach maturity and produce seeds. An over-harvested patch can take many decades to recover. Even though the entire plant is edible, some foraging experts say the most sustainable way to harvest them is to snip off only one leaf from each plant, leaving the bulb and other leaves to grow and reproduce via underground rhizomes. Harvest only from large, well-established patches, and please check for any local regulations before gathering wild plants. It should go without saying that you should never eat any wild plant unless you are 100% sure that you have found an edible species. It is always a good idea to check with a reputable field guide, reference book, or an expert. Don't rely on word of mouth, the internet, social media, or even this video to make a definitive identification. If you are concerned about a potential toxic exposure, our poison information specialists, pharmacists, and doctors at the Georgia Poison Center are available 24 hours a day to answer your questions at 1-800-222-1222. Well, thanks for watching today. Please enjoy the great outdoors, learn about nature and our amazing local wildlife. If you choose to forage for edible plants, please be smart and responsible. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.